Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we are back with another episode of the Dragon Prince episode 7. Well, last time on the Dragon Prince, um, not, not entirely a whole lot happened in terms of the current storyline in the last episode. It was more focused on the, um, you know, the backstory of um, how the Dragon King came to die, which um, we now know Viren had a direct hand in. I think we, all, we always suspected as much. Um, I don't think we we had all the details before. I knew pretty much that King Harold um, gave the order, and uh, I believe I don't, I don't think he went so much as to say that he did it, but he did it. Um, Viren came to him with um, with what a, with a, a, a possible you know a solution, a way to actually get revenge. And King Harold, in you know, being consumed by anger at the loss of uh, of the queen, gave into it and and. Yeah, took them down a road of vengeance, which again came full circle now with um with, with and it, it could have ended there to be honest. Um I think it could have ended there had Viren not taken the dragon um prince's egg. But it is it's pretty obvious at this point that Viren has, you know, his own it uh, I, I said it from the beginning and, and it still maintains even now. I, I'm not sure what is driving Viren. Um, I, st I still feel as though there's there's some loyalty to you know to humans that he has that's driving him to, to do these things but I feel as though there's something much more selfish at the root of that right um, I just don't know what it is yet and I, I think perhaps I mean it has something to do with you know the death of, of um, Claudia and Soren's mom but we, we never we, we, I don't think we've gotten that bit of detail but I do suspect that she died at the hands of elves and that's why he's so bent on um, on, on revenge. Uh, but as I mentioned at the end of my last video, though, um, I do believe that, that and this is just my theory. I do believe that um, that Viren was the one that killed um, um, uh, King Harold's wife. I mean, I forget her name, but the boy's um, the prince's mom, right? I do believe. Um, yeah, I, I believe Viren killed Callum's um, Callum's mom and. I recall in the the previous season we saw where he rode back to actually help her, you know, fight the Dragon King, and he was actually you know helping, but we, we, I don't think we saw her final breath to, to see what exactly happened. And I do believe that at that moment, I think perhaps she was injured by the Dragon King, but the Dragon King probably left. And um, Viren himself, I think the the final blow. I could be wrong, um, and, and I could be wrong. So if I am, correct me down below. But I do believe Viren, um, dealt the final blows so that he could get King Harold to actually act, um, and in, in vengeance against the Dragon King. And and he got it. He got it. And I mean, even as King Harold threw the spear, I mean, I I don't know if that was something they added afterwards, but um, you you could hear her last breath. And it was screaming no, right? Um, I don't think. I, I mean, even if she did die at the hand of the Dragon King, this would not be what she wanted because she didn't even want them to use dark magic in the first place, which kind of had a domino effect from there, leading to this whole mess. Um, so I mean, Vern is now on the march um, with his army to go to war. So let's see, episode seven. Let's check it out. No respect for the creatures there. Hey, Dad? I mean, you do have a plan, right? My plan will be revealed at the appropriate time. I am a crown guard. Shouldn't the leaders know what's going on? Enough, Soren! Learn how to shut your mouth. Yeah, weird advice, considering you did Perhaps not do that with King Harold. Kasif, for an example. Where was all that wisdom uh, with King Harold and shutting your mouth so and following? With your quietness, rugged battle stance, and your horse with kind eyes. <laughs> the horse alone. <laughs> yeah, but that is a bit of a hypocritical statement for Vern to me, considering he did not do so that with King Harold. What is the plan? The key is the Dragon Prince. Yes. You must take down the Dragon Queen and capture the baby dragon. 
Then you will have the attention of all the world and the power to do what you want. Mm. But first, there's something we need here in Luxoria. Let me pull that off. All right, they're here. So this is it. Storm Spire. Storm Spire. Yep. And I take it the Dragon Queen didn't make her lair at a nice kind of halfway up there kind of place? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Tip top. Yeah, how are you guys going to get all the way up there? Don't worry. You're about to meet your mama. It's a long way up. They must know the army is here now. Another human has come to look south. Don't they have scouts or we something? I mean, they audience. should have known immediately that someone crossed the border. Sister, and what happened to the dragon from the, 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 from the know, start of this season? Them. Throw him in a cell. But this human is the king of Catolis. Oh? Then put him in the extra nice ring of fire. Sister, this human claims he knows what happened to Queen Aditi. What does he know about our grandmother? I'm confused about something. How did Ver uh, Vern and his army get so, past uh, the dragon that Callum and the um, queen where a thing? And really had to pass uh, in the very first episode. Oh, I they had to run the same routes, right? Kind of a secret. This is Elfin writing. Can you read it? It says Prepare to draw your last breath. Okay. And, I mean, if, if it's in the elven, right? I mean, the relationship with the elves and the dragons are good, right? If you allow us to pass, we have no trouble with you. Right now, you mean. We will see if we can trust you. The light will decide. He's clearly not pure, so how is this gonna how, how is this gonna work? He said he needed something here, so is that what he needed to stop? Not surprised. So what was the point of all this? But don't give up hope. You will be purified. Your king came seeking passage. What? That's impossible. The light revealed his true nature. Tainted with darkness, rotten to the core. <laughs> Such an elegant man. That man is no king. You immediately. He may be the most dangerous human in the world. No matter. The queen sentenced him to be pure. Guys, we can't stop here. We have to keep going. The light from the Sun Forge is one of purification. It will only remove the parts of you that have been touched by dark magic. What is his plan? It doesn't look good. I don't think Grain is gonna die here. Is so predictable. I 
mean, I would have just killed Varen from the beginning. Why bring him here to be purified? You're just like your grandmother. She doesn't you know him. I guess he's been in prison for a very long time. Before you face yours. That easy. Wow. to go on with them. I don't know if I can keep going. Alright, that's okay. Sam! Yeah, I can't keep up either. But I can't stop. This is a dragon from last season, right? Yeah, the one that they see. Hopefully he remembers that. When you crashed, you're okay now. And hopefully he's grateful. Ah, the sign at the entrance. Um, when they were coming up, that that said something about prepare to draw your last breath. It meant more than just you're going you might die. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm confused about something. Um, I thought this queen was the queen of all of Zidia. But it's starting to look like she's just the leader of the Sunfire Elf. With this gift, I will inoculate you. And instead of destruction, that fire will... Oh, turn them into some demon army or something? Do not be afraid. You will understand when you see the first to change. I don't want to look like son. you. Soren. Ah, don't do it, Soren. Come on, Soren. This is the time to step up. I am afraid. I am ready. Of course you I are. I am ready to receive the gift. I want to do that. No, thank you. I am so sorry, but that is where I would be out of there. No. I don't even know if this is reversible. I wouldn't want to. No, no, no. I'm sorry. No, no. Just no. Guys, wake up. You gotta wake up. No, you seem okay now. I know okay, how to man. fix everything. The gateway wasn't a warning. It was a solution. It was the solution. Come on. Ventus Spiralis. Yeah, you guys gotta get moving. We're gonna be okay. This is no time. I'm, I'm happy, but this is not the time. Hey, that isn't part of this. It's spell. not. 
Uh, yeah, so, uh, you were gone for a while, and now, uh, this is a thing, so... What? What? <laughs> Come with me, Claudia. You can leave him! Please, Soren, don't... Don't do this to me. Don't make me choose not again. Okay. Stay. Goodbye, Claude. No. Go on, sorry. Get out of there. No. There's no. There doesn't seem to be any it saving her. For all of you to embrace Come on, guys. Power. Look at him. Are you? Look at him. Come on. For an answer. We're here. I can't believe we've made it. Ooh, a new character. We brought him home. Azimondius, the dragon prince. He's here to see his mother. It makes my heart leap to see that. Don't tell me she's passed already. But you're too late. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright, so episode seven of the Dragon Prince. Ah. Before I forget, I'm 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 confused about something, right? The the passage that they had to take to actually get here. Um, for the at the very beginning of this episode, it actually showed Claudia crossing paths with the same little um critters that Rayla and Callum had to pass to actually get to Zadia. Right? Um, so I'm confused as to why Vern and his army didn't have to pass through um Sol Regim, the, the fire dragon that they came across in the very first episode of this season. Um, yeah, I mean, he didn't, he obviously doesn't take too kindly to, um, to humans. Um, Rilla and Callum didn't kill him. They injured him to some extent and then, you know, and they ran. And so I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering how it is that they were able to, you know, how the arm, this huge army managed to pass, um, pass Sol Regan without, you know, opposition of some sort. But um yeah so it, I mean, if anyone has any theories about that you can post them below and let me know. Uh, but it, I mean this episode uh, another brilliant episode Vern uh, I don't know. I, I mentioned before at, at the beginning that I, I felt as though something else is driving him and that question came back to mind um in his discussion with um with Avaros earlier where you know, he still has some hesitation in terms of conquering Zadia. He, he says he wants a bright future for all of humanity. And that, that's, that's the point I was getting at. Um, at the heart of it, he does appear to have, you know, he does appear to have some good intentions in terms of where he believes humans' rightful place is. Or I don't know if rightful is the correct word. Um, it's, it sounds, you know, it, it sounds entitled, right? And... I think that's a part of the problem. That's how this whole mess even began because humans felt as though they were entitled to, to, to magic. Uh, but he does seem to want, at his core, um, for humans to thrive. But I can't help but feel as, as though there's something more selfish driving that, given all that he's willing to sacrifice to get there. Betraying his um, his friend, King Harold, and in, in my theory, killing king harold's wife I, I, I have nothing to back that up except for a hunch but i do believe he did that um to kind of dominate have a dominant effect to trigger this the, this event and then he took the dragon prince's egg so there's something else driving him that um that, that i'm not seeing that we're not seeing at least that's my theory for the moment but it's obvious conquering zeta is not his first um it wouldn't have been his first thought he just wants I, I don't know, I, I guess he wants humans to be powerful enough that 
they're feared or are considered to be on the same level as elves because I, I can't see any way that he would accomplish his goals without going to war and i think maybe that's what avarice was getting at i mean what what do you plan on doing you're here you have the army um, you say you want humans to be prosperous but how do you intend to do that with with an army right if you wanted prosperity you could have done that through peace but you chose to go to war so now that you're at war what do you think will happen um so there's that and, and um i mean the other thing now right um uh, we're stuck between um uh, between claudia and 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 soren and i don't know soren I'm, I'm glad that he stepped up and decided to actually leave for a while there i, I, I believe he was maybe sticking around for claudia's sake to for her to see um, to see the man that her father has become and I commend him for that but at the same time I, 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 I kind of gave up on Claudia a, a few episodes ago right the moment she decided to support her dad having thrown um, having thrown Esmond in prison right even though he spared her from the same fate earlier so um, the moment that happened I, I understood that yeah she's 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 given not given up, but she's well. Hey, why not? She's given up on her friends, and yeah, she's given up on Callum, um, Ezra, and and she seems to have been decided to choose her her dad. She did say here in the episode that um, do not make her choose again, and you know immediately the first thing I thought was um, was she talking about the choice that she had to make to save Sor um Soren last season when he was um crippled right i believe she she probably had to kill a creature to actually revive him um so i thought immediately when she said it i thought that's what she was referring to but then i i, I began to think and i'm wondering if she meant you know her mom you know but perhaps there was a point where she had to choose um between her mom and her dad or something to that effect. I'm not sure. Again, nothing to support this except a hunch. Um, but it felt as though that, that she was leaning towards something like that. And um, I, I, with every episode this season, I, I'm loving Soren more um, because he can see Claudia is blind at this point. She can't see her, her dad for what he has become. However good his intentions may have started out at the at the very beginning, it's it's now twisted and and it's become deformed and it's something different altogether now, right? Um, one of the things I did want to touch on as well and a point of confusion for me this, not so much this season as it is. I, I don't think they've done a great job explaining the the geography of of Zadia and um and the, the the different monarchs if there if there are more than one and. Initially, when we were introduced to the queen, I thought she was the queen of Zadia. And if she is the queen of Zadia, then would, I, I don't know. I thought she rules over all of Zadia. But from this episode, it appears as though she only rules over um, the Sunfire Elves. Because if she is the, king, the, the ruler of Zadia, then Vern, by default, has just won. But apparently, that's not the case. And he has a larger prize to go after. Unless it's just the queen, um, the dragon queen, which is not dead. So, what army are they going to be fighting exactly? Um, so, I'm confused as to whether or not, you know, Rayla, is Rayla's clan separate from the Sunfire Elves? I'm not sure what her elf clan would be called. Um, but are they separate? I mean, different factions of elves and... There's no one ruler to rule them all. Is they just have different leaders here and there, or um, was that queen in fact the ruler of Zeta? If that's the case, it was far too easy to take her out. So, um, I mean, she should have a massive army, and even if she got killed um, by one sneak attack, um, I would expect an army to march in there and. I don't think Vern would have enough power to, to kill them all. So um so there there I'm, I'm still a bit you know not clear as to how that how you know what who the leaders are in Zadia. Is it one queen that's um that's the ruler? And if so, 
Uh, why was it that Queen was so easily taken down? Where, how, where, where, where are her guards? Where, where is the army? Um, I guess on the flip side, the good thing is that um, General Amaya's new friend, the princess, is, is there's now a seat open to the throne, and she clearly still misses her sister. Um, despite her sister's not, she doesn't seem like the the, the best leader. Um, and, and that kind of got her killed to begin with, because as Avros pointed out, she was a bit predictable. Um, because she's condescending. She is, for, for sure, right? Um, she's a bit condescending, and, and that kind of got her killed. So I, 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 I don't particularly miss her. We've only gotten her, gotten her on screen briefly, but I guess, I mean, she's still her sister, so she will miss her, but she was kind of, yeah, I'm not a nice person. Um, so there's a um, very new army, a dark army. And I imagine that these men no longer have a choice in the matter. He didn't even wait for them to respond before turning them. And they seem to be marching now. So I think, I, I think they've lost all will. They're probably under his control, his complete control now. And uh, Avros is the true mastermind behind all of this because we know... Um, that he's doing all of this so he can free himself. He said he knew how the, the current queen of the Sunfire Elves, he knew how her grandmother died. So he's been in prison for a very long time. I think he was around at that point. And he said a dragon king is the one that um, cursed him or imprisoned him. So he's been around a very long time. And some reason, I mean, he hasn't aged. I'm not sure if the elves in this world age at the same rate as humans do. I don't think that was ever touched on, but um, if he's any indication, it appears they don't age the same as humans. Um, but I mean, the Dragon King is out of is is dead, so he's gotten what he wanted there. Um, the the Queen of the Sunfire Elves is dead; he's gotten what he wanted there as well, and the army's on the march now. So I'm assuming his prison is um, at the Dragon Dragon Spire or Lightning Spire, whatever the name was. I'm assuming his prison is where the Dragon Queen and Dragon King's lair is. And one of the reasons that they're there is not so much to, um, to guard the, their their egg initially, but also to guard his prison, wherever it is that he's being held. Um, and again, nothing to back that up, just, um, just my theory, because if he's not there, um, you know, where the Sunfire Elves are, where else could he be? Right? He had to be somewhere where it's, you know, it's, near impossible for anyone to get to um so I, I think that's where i think that's where his prison is and where why he's so adamant to get azzy and and kill the dragon queen um i think he needs a dragon prince you know maybe he needs a dragon prince to free him somehow or the dragon prince needs to die for him to be free some it it, ha, it, it has something to do with the dragons um, and that, that's containing him and he needs them removed so that he can actually be free and after he's freed of course I don't think he gives a damn about Viren or the humans or anyone else he just he, he's in it for himself and it's unfortunate that Viren hasn't seen that I thought he did you know like as two seasons ago I thought he didn't trust him but as the seasons go by he seems to be lowering his lowering his guard more and more not a great you know, not it's not not something he should be doing i don't think that's something he should be doing but he's completely given in now and you can see um avaros's influence on him growing more and more um even in the the very the the moth the slug that he had before um or caterpillar or whatever he he's not grown right so he's feeding on Viren and he's getting stronger and stronger and stronger uh, but um, the march is on. Um, I'm, I'm not sure who the army is going to be fighting against. Again, I'm still a bit unclear on that, but I can't wait for the next episode and see what this all-out war looks like. I imagine it's going to be against the dragons because another dragon showed up um, that we've, we're familiar with. And who knows, maybe Sol Regan will, act, will, will actually show up here. But I um, can't wait for the next episode. Uh, be sure to post down below, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on this episode. Uh, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one.